Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 induction ceremony to the Mary V. Scardina chapter of the National Honor Society. This afternoon's virtual induction ceremony will include both the 2020 and 2021 induction classes as a formal induction ceremony was not possible last year. I am Annie Cutts, the advisor to this chapter. I feel that our Farrell Area High School students must and do continue to strive for excellence in many ways. They deserve the accolades that National Honor Society bestows on them, and they should use this honor as a stepping stone to continue to grow and use the qualities that they demonstrated for candidates for membership. It is my hope that these members will live their lives always in search of knowledge while leading and helping others with a serving heart and authentic integrity. The students present here tonight represent a great future for Farrell High School and for our community. Every candidate po possesses high academics. Equally important is the fact that they lead in a multitude of activities. We have talented musicians, athletes, club and class officers, and volunteers who help others here at school, at home, in the neighborhood, at hospitals, and at church. These students exemplify what National Honor Society holds as cardinal principles. In 1921, 100 years ago, the National Honor Society was formed to focus on these four objectives. Number one, to create an enthusiasm for scholarship. Number two, to stimulate the desire to render service. Number three, to promote worthy leadership. And number four, to encourage the development of character. On this special centennial anniversary of the National Honor Society, I think that Mary V. Scardina, a Farrell High School English teacher who founded our chapter in the 1950s, would have been proud, just as we all are, for the continued tradition of excellence here at Farrell High School. It is now my honor to present our Mistress of Ceremony for the induction ceremony of new members, Miss Jacara Green. Thank you. As members of the National Honor Society, we are encouraged to have a thirst for knowledge and show scholarly, serve others, and have character and integrity when needed to become the leaders of today and of tomorrow. We are here to induct these candidates into the membership of the Mary V. Scardina chapter of the National Honor Society. They have effectively demonstrated the four principles held in high esteem by the society. We'll review all those principles starting with knowledge. One lighted candle represents the eternal light of knowledge. Its ever-present illumination is central to the ideas of the National Honor Society. As members, we strive to seek this light. Scholarship, presented by Faith Zugatti. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education only ends with life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success. And it can be acquired in only one way, 
through diligence and effort. Learning flourishes a lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Canons have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service, presented by Maria Haynes. Service can be expressed in a various amount of ways. In the routine of the day-to-day -day -day work, many opportunity, it has many opportunities to arise to help others. Willingness to work without monetary compensation or without recognition for the benefit of those in need is the quality that we seek as our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and it abilities to cr the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership, presented by Faith Zugatti. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leaders strive to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interest uh, for the interest of others. A leader has the self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in the country, they are ineffectual without, gu without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed and is thus a considerable responsibility to each of our members and to the candidate. Character presented by Maria Haynes. Character is the force within each individual which, which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each one individuality. It is without no one can respect oneself, nor attain the respect of others. It is the force of character which guides one throughout life and which once developed and grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others by demonstrating such qualities as reliability, honesty, sincerity, as we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Candidates and members, please rise for the National Honor Society Pledge. Please, everyone, please raise your right hand and repeat with me. I pledge myself, I pledge myself always, to seek always to seek the light of truth, the light of truth to hold scholarly habits, to hold scholarly habits to engage in worthy service, to engage in worthy service, and to lead forward, and to lead forward in all things, in all things, 
that we shall advance, that we shall advance the, welfare of our school. the welfare of our school. As your name is called, please proceed to the center to receive your membership certificate. Continue to the podium to sign the official register for the Mary V. Scardina chapter of the National Honor Society. Then return to your seats. The first five candidates make up last year's NHS class. Those 2020-2020 candidates are the following. Mariana Amos. Tony Austin. Kamara Brown. Demaria Burns. The next six candidates make up this year's NHS class. The 2021 inductees are as follow. Jaylee Green. Nakasha Marcella. Tamara Slater. Dierra Stewart. Mackenzie Ewan. And Kylan Wilson. We would also like to recognize those candidates that could not be in attendance this evening. They are Jordan Scott and Nakveya King. You may be seated. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you Reverend Dr. Laura Adams King, the superintendent here at Farrell Area School District.
Good afternoon to Ms. Cott, Mr. Vecchia, Mr. Fowler and his absence, to the National Honor Society members, and finally, the inductees of the Mary V. Scardina National Honor Society Class of 2021. It is my honor and privilege to be here with you this afternoon. It's already been said about the founding of the National Honor Society, which by the way is the nation's premier organization, which was established for the outstanding recognition of high school students who had excelled in various areas as was already said, the National Honor Society was founded in 1921, not far from us in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at one of our, at the time, rival high schools, the former Fifth Avenue High School, by their principal, Dr. Edward Reinerson. Since that day, it now has chapters in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and many United States territories and Canada. And while there are approximately 16 million high school students, grades 9 through 12 in the United States, it's estimated that there are only about 1 million who have gained, earned the honor that you are getting bestowed upon you today. So that's some, certainly something to be proud of. So inductees of 2021, you are the 100th centennial class of inductees into the National Honor Society. That means that this is really a landmark event, a landmark year for the National Honor Society. So much has changed since the National Honor Society was founded in 1921. The first class of inductees back then, they knew nothing about the internet, and yet and still, you inductees know everything about the internet. They knew nothing of social media, and yet and still, for you, it is a vital means of news, information, and communication. That class in 1921 had no cell phones, and yet and still, sometimes we think they're attached to you all in this class. They knew nothing about TikTok videos. And again, you know all about them. So much has changed since this first class was inducted in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And while much has changed, some things have remained the same. So you have earned this privilege of being members of the Farrell Area School District, Mary V. Scardina National Honor Society chapter by being consistent and excelling in four areas. And while they've been mentioned, I just want to expound upon them just a little bit further. So you sit here today because you have excelled in scholarship. You have become an academician. That means you value education above many other things. You put your schoolwork, studying, working hard, paying attention in class, committing to not just beginning, but finishing assignments and projects. You've made that important. You have realized that knowledge is power and education is not only a great equalizer, but it's also a game changer. However, you have not just earned this privilege by being an academician alone. You've also earned this privilege today by excelling in service. That means you, cheer, you have cheerfully and enthusiastically made contributions to your school, your community, at the hospitals, 
on your jobs, in your churches, in your neighborhoods, and even here at the school. You've done it willingly with your fellow students and fellow mankind, and you've done it without complaining and many times without even being asked. One of my favorite books has a saying or a quote in it that says, to whom much is given, much is required. That means that we are responsible for what we have. It means that if we've been blessed with talents, money, knowledge, time, resources, and what have you, it is expected that we benefit others with those things we've been blessed with. So you have exceeded in scholarship, you have exceeded in service, but you've also exceeded in leadership. You have become positive role models. You've displayed a positive attitude. You've encouraged and inspired others to do it just by your mere example. And you've done this by leading the way in the school and in the community. Uh, a popular leadership guru by the name of John Maxwell said this quote, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. You know what you're supposed to do. You do what you're supposed to do, and you show others what should be done. So you're here today because you have exceeded in scholarship, you have ex exceeded in service, you have also exceeded in leadership. But finally, you're here today because you have excelled in character. A lot of the things I've talked about already don't mean a whole lot if you don't have character. For character is integrity. Character is high moral value. Character is a high ethical standard. J.C. Watts said that character is doing the right thing when no one is looking. And you have character. You do the right thing when others are looking and the spotlight is on you. But you also do the right thing when no one is watching because that is simply who you are. And so on today, we not only congratulate you, we commend you. We ask that you would commit to continuing excellence in scholarship, in leadership, in service, and in character, because we need you. This community needs you. This school needs you to do that. The nation we live in needs you to do that. And because we are a global society, the world needs your example and your contribution as well. So on behalf of the Farrell Area School District and its Board of Education, again, on this ninth day of April in 2021, I say to this centennial class of the National Honor Society inductees, congratulations and continued best wishes in the future. Thank you, Dr. Adams King. And now all National Honor Society members, please rise. In closing, the National Honor Society Class of 2019 welcomes the two new classes, the 2020 and 2021 NHS classes into the Mary V. Scardina chapter. Congratulations. 
I'd like to say a special thank you today to Mr. Ian McCann, the Farrell Junior Senior High School Band, for making our ceremony even more special with the help of our talented musicians. Thank you. Additionally, I'd like to thank our multimedia production team of Mr. Hoagland, Mr. Lewis, and Mr. Folsom for making this virtual ceremony possible. Also, to our administrators, Mr. Vecchia, Dr. Adams King, and Mr. Fowler, who could not be in attendance this afternoon. Thank you for your support of both our students and our organization of the ceremony here this afternoon. Last but not least, thank you to all parents, guardians, and everyone joining us virtually this afternoon for your unending support of these student scholars. This concludes our 2021 virtual National Honor Society ceremony. Thank you.